The pros, it's really durable and easy to clean. I love that it's a flat surface for getting in and out. I love that I can use this huge storage space underneath. So what don't I like about my floor? Hey guys, many minivans have stow and go seats, which is totally awesome for getting your seats out of the way. These are the seats that fold down into the floor. But if you really want to maximize your space, you can remove the seats entirely, which leaves you with these incredible storage bins. But when you remove the seats, you'll find that the floor gets removed too. And that can be a little problematic when you try to make a floor over this big opening. My solution was to make a wood floor, but I wanted to be able to access the storage. So I cut four panels that I can lift up. I used thick three quarter inch quality plywood because there's not a lot of support for these boards. So they need to be able to hold up if a person steps in the middle. I left the hinges on to provide some support to the boards. This whole piece lifts up and the hinges move too. It's not super supportive, but I needed something to hold the boards. I also bought two pieces of steel that I have going across to help lend some support. They rest on the sides, which is more stable. I just picked these up at Lowe's. You can probably find something like this at any hardware store. The back part was also a little flimsy, so I put a board underneath and screwed it down. To make the floor panels, first I had to determine the width of the boards. I decided this based on where the bed legs would be. I wanted to be able to get in the bins with the bed down if I needed to. It was pretty easy to cut the panels. I just divided the middle and made straight cuts for the middle panels. To make edge panels, first I made cardboard cutouts for the sides to make sure they would fit. But I still had to do quite a bit of tweaking after cutting to make it fit perfectly. And lastly, I put some sticky floor tiles on top. You can get these in individual wood strips or square tiles. You can buy just a couple of them, which is awesome. All you have to do is peel the backing off and stick it down. They're a little tricky to cut, but basically you just score the top with a razor blade and then bend it and it snaps off. These are also waterproof and really durable, which makes it super easy to clean. I also added some handles to the boards so I can easily lift them up. I just screwed on a piece of webbing. You can find the link for this below. So now that I've used it for a while, I camped 50 days last summer and have had it for over a year now. What are the pros and cons of this floor? The pros, it's really durable and easy to clean. I love that it's a flat surface for getting in and out. I've even done yoga inside. I love that I can use this huge storage space underneath. So what don't I like about my floor? One thing I don't like is I have to be really strict with myself on what gets stored on the floor. It can be pretty frustrating when I have to move things off the panels before I can lift them up. But this also serves to help me keep the van tidy. Another drawback is if your shoes are dusty, the dust ends up falling into the storage bin. I solve this by putting a little mat by the door and trying to keep my shoes clean or take them off. So again, it's forced me to change my habits a little, which probably is a good thing. I also plan on getting some rubber flooring mats and cutting them to sit on the back part of the floor to make cleanup easier. Oh, and if you're interested in why the heck I have tennis balls seemingly glued down inside, check out the next video to find out why they totally saved my stuff inside. Other than that, I've been super happy with the floor and all the storage that's possible inside. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also, I'm just getting started on YouTube, so what sort of videos would you like to see me make? Are you already on your van journey or is it something you're planning or dreaming about? One of the main reasons I started this channel is to feel like I'm part of a community. So please, let me know what your story is and what you'd like to see. Okay, see you later.